putting for rabbits and for ducks. <laughs> okay. We got we got permission to go for rabbits. Mm -hmm. We've confirmed it's not the, the kid's lost pet, so. But really we're just hunting for burdock. Okay. So this is burdock, and that's my foot, and uh, that's how big that's how big this fucking thing is. What are we doing with this here burdock? Oh look at that! Here's some I harvested earlier. We're gonna peel them and grill these up like carrots. What are they good for? Uh, they're good for reducing sugar cravings, which we have lots of problems with. Yeah, I've been eating a lot of shit. <laughs> what else can they do? Uh, they can actually uh, help your liver process alcohol as well. That's so. great, because we just got that crate of wine. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, Flo. What, what you doing there? Come on. Starting to get the flow of digging stuff up. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm hmm. All right, so this is a pretty wild meal. I'm excited. Um, we've got a bunch of ramps and some burdock that we were just cutting up, and then uh, some wild macaroni and cheese that we found in a londis. But um, this is a really good meal, and it's vegetarian. And it, it, it's not it's not vegan mac and cheese, or it, or it will be full on vegan. Um, it is amazing. The burdock tastes a little bit meaty. Why does it taste like meat? It just has a very earthy flavor, kind of like parsnip. Mm. Yeah, this is a legit meal in itself. It's not like missing a bit of chicken or anything. This is real tasty. We're gonna have to find more burdock tomorrow. Let's do it. Look at this big one trouble with this is it's all stuck in clay so it's an absolute bastard to dig out we have the tiniest tools this is not practical but in the apocalypse you use whatever you got i'm using a heidi mostly <laughs> she's good at this uh so you've got a new technique what so you got a little one there and what are you gonna do dig down deep enough just so i can get a good grip around the root hopefully and then See if I can just wiggle it free. That's still too tight for now. Before I thought we had to dig up the whole entire root, but now I think if I just get enough soil off the top bit of it and give it enough wiggle room, we can pull at least half of it out. All right, you just want to make sure you get around any like, because a few of them were a bit bent, right? And so you want to get past the bend right. and then get down to where it's tapering. It's actually a pretty big one. What are you eating, Flo? You just eating grass. I guess we're so boring that she's just eating grass. Yeah, I'm pulling the leaves up. Whoa. Oh, that was a very big one. If we kept digging, we would have gotten two. See that? Oh, yeah. There's can, loads left. You can only see half of the white bit. Huh. But, you see this? Yeah. That's crazy. How much of that is food and how much of that is clay? This is it's a good carrot size. Awesome. Yeah. Mine is much smaller than average, isn't it, Heidi? So this is yesterday's harvest. This one is ridiculously big. Um, but we were we were out for about two hours, walking the dogs and, and wandering about. Um, but it was about uh, one hour's worth of digging, I'd say. And uh, that might seem like a bunch of time and a bunch of effort, but compared to going all the way to the supermarket and getting a bunch of plastic covered shitty old carrots, dealing with coronavirus, uh, it seems like a pretty good choice. So keep an eye out for burdock. This is, this is the leaf. If you use iNaturalist, it will help you find where other people have spotted it. Or if you spot some leaves, then you can confirm that it is burdock. I'm going to dig it up and have a look. Like this.